It's bare, it's bro. The There's so much tracks. unreleased tunes. It's off of a few cheeky ones, isn't it? A few yeah. cheeky ones. <laughs> People loved it out there. We did like ball nice. parties with the clubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, if you leave that situation, it's going to build up resentment in your heart. And I was just struggling mentally, like on, on the next level, which is why literally the whole thing was during COVID, so there wasn't really much NHS help. Why, why do you wear the mask? Why the mask? May our blessings inspire one. Big up, big up. Creative mm -hmm. Insight podcast. We've got Moby in the building. What's going on, my brother? Yes, you good, bro. yeah? Big Live. up for featuring on the show, man. I appreciate you having Yo, me. Yo, big up for all the support as well, man. You've been supporting for a minute, for a healthy uh, minute, man. You might work hard, so anyone that works hard That's it. And same to you yeah. as well, bro. You're out here, man. I haven't tried. You're out trying, here, bro. So we're going to go through a quick story, a quick background into you, man. How yeah. did you get the name, first of all? Ha! Huh. <laughs> I was not expecting that question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. straight off the uh, What, where did the name Moby One come Moby from? Moby One, how did he get uh, that name? So it's an acronym. It yeah. means May Our Blessings Inspire One. But it's like... May Our Blessings Inspire. Hey, yeah, so yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's basically like my first name mixed with my last name, kind of. Pretty much. And then, yeah. and then, yeah, the one at the end. So I don't really know how else to explain yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, do, I don't really know how mate. I... Came up with it. Just May our um, blessings inspire one. Mm. Cool, cool name, man. I appreciate and it. And where did you grow up? Like, what area? Uh, Hounslow, West London. Hounslow, big yeah, up, yeah, big, yeah, up yeah, West, yeah. big up West, big up West. Some man. people won't say it's West, but it is. So it's West, man. It's West. Is that what? <laughs> did, did growing up there inspire your music at all? Uh, like a little bit. I wouldn't say too, too much. Yeah. Because I was listening to so much different stuff growing up. I was listening to bands. I was listening to dubstep, drum and bass, and then like grime as well. So. Um, there wasn't really many artists. There's not really many artists from Hounslow anyway, to be fair, I would say. Like, there's like athletes and stuff, but not really musicians. So um, I guess there wasn't really anyone that you'd like look up to and be like, oh, that's a person like I would like. Oh, like Screw Fizzer and stuff. Yeah. But um, he's from Acton, like Elin Way, but like, I guess he's close. So, and then like AJ Tracy as well, he's from Grove, yeah, yeah, which yeah. isn't like too far from where we are. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, but everybody else is a bit further, like, centre west than we are so nice man nice mm. nice cool so like i just want to get it out there mm. why why do you wear the mask why the mask uh i'm a band survivor innit mm. so i was in an explosion like three years ago now mm -hmm. um i was at work in my old job and long story short i turned the handle and next thing i remember i was on the other side of the room innit? um okay. then i was in hospital yeah for like a week and a half came out of hospital and there was like a letter basically saying we're making you redundant, we can't afford to rebuild the department that's like blown up sort of thing. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that sucked, I can't lie. Yeah, like, so what, you turned turn the handle? Yeah, you, literally, like, it was just like, it was compressed gas. No, oh. I, was a, I was an aircraft engineer, innit? Okay, okay. So it was compressed gas yeah. and it was allowing like the oxygen from one side to the other, innit? Yeah, yeah. So I just opened it and just, mm. I, I don't know what happened, yeah, did yeah. it? <laughs> I don't know, and I just I just woke up and bang, all of a sudden sound effects. So, um, yeah, I come out of hospital, they made me redundant. They said that they couldn't reopen the department. And then, um, yeah, after that, I guess I just spent the next like year and a half to two years recovering. Mm. Um, was that then, during COVID time? Yeah, it was yeah. literally the whole thing was during COVID. So mm. there wasn't really much NHS help because it was already stretched as it was. And I didn't like, um, I had to go to the hospital like every two, three days to get like, um, my dressings changed and stuff like that and the hospital was like an hour and a half away so um, had someone driving me back my, my partner at the time was driving mm. me back and forth innit? Um, and I was just struggling mentally like on, on the next level which is where basically why my partner left me in the end sort of mm. thing and um, there was like no help I was supposed to have like a therapist at the at the hospital but she was quite unreliable. So every time like I went for a session, mm, which sure, was sure. like on the days, they tried to yeah. match it up to the days that like I, I had appointments for my dressings. She either just didn't turn up that day or she was like busy with another patient at the time. Okay. And there in there, you have the room for a certain amount of time because you're your appointment. Yeah, yeah. So if I was like finished, they were just like, well, you gotta go, you can't wait for her sort of thing. Mm. So yeah, so I think I must've seen her in the, Maybe like 16 weeks I had to go consecutively to that hospital. I must yeah, have seen her twice. I twice? Think. Wow. Yeah, bro. That's so an NHS, you know. There was, um, yeah. there was like a leaflet in the room, innit? Mm. For like, uh, to help people with mental health. and Because and, uh, yeah. I was in like the Burns ward or whatever. Mm. So there was a leaflet to help people. And there's a few different numbers on there. One was like Samaritans. Yeah. Um, there was, um, 
like a, a, a like a helpline where you could just talk to people about how you're feeling. And then the, the only one I saw that actually made sense was the Katie Piper Foundation, because they're like specifically for burn survivors. Okay. So I contacted them like via like WhatsApp, I think it was, yeah. and they were like on it like same day. Got me set up. Got me like a therapist. Next week I had a. Um, I had a nutritionist, they got me um, a physiotherapist um, and then like literally someone that just checked in on me like every, yeah. literally every day. Like, so you so found that, that going, for, going through that route helped you more than the NHS? 100 yeah. billion percent yeah. bro, so mm. 100, 100 billion percent, like nice. they were lifesavers literally mm. and then they kind of just taught me to create it right, it was kind of just like a... I was going to say yeah, did that yeah. lead you to your musical it journey? Was, so was I guess that? I like wrote a few bars like when yeah. I was in school in the playground and that but yeah. like I'd never really took it seriously, it was just that random in the playground yeah, spitting yeah, yeah, yeah. in it. So, um, they kind of was just like, why don't you just write down your thoughts and feelings, just take yeah. your time. So I was kind of like, I guess, journaling to some extent, yeah, yeah, just journaling. writing stuff down, writing stuff down. Yeah. And then my flatmate at the time that I lived with before I had to move back in with my rent, he was like, obviously during COVID, so he was trying to learn to produce in it. So he was just like, why don't you just try and like, spit on the beat? Yeah, and I was just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm not no rapper, bro, leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, I just, I guess I just tried a couple of times on a few things that he, he cooked up and then it kind of just, Went from there, really. Yeah, yeah. It was just, I guess it just felt so good kind of getting it out. you felt like it was natural to you, basically. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And it just, I felt like I was getting stuff off of my chest, in it? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like a lot of my... Therapy type of thing. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Nice. So a lot of people say that music is like a therapy to them. Mm. What's your, what do you think? Uh, I mean, for me it is. Yeah. For Duffel, for me it mm. is 100%. Like, if I didn't have music, I don't even know what I'd be doing. I'd be yeah, really man, it's a lifesaver, so. man. Yeah. What was the first track you made? Uh, the first track I made. The first time I I saw your music was Margin Boo. I think the first track I actually made was I think the first track I actually yeah. made was the System. I yeah, think. Really. Yeah, 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 I think the System was the first track I actually like made, and I managed to like spit that the whole way through because I was yeah. still like practicing, practicing, practicing before I actually mm. went into the booth because that. I met. I think I originally met an uh, engineer on like Spock or something like that, which oh, is kind of like, yeah, yeah you know, like the new piece, gum tree thing. Piece, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like Spock. I, think, I found yeah. the guy, and it was like ten pound an hour, and then it was like I think it was four pound for mix and masters or something damn, like that. Damn, bro. That's so before the cost of living. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so I was going to him in Clapham for a bit. Then he yeah. moved to like Kent somewhere, bare okay. far, and um, yeah, just. I was just testing testing my sound out because at home I had like a tiny little setup, but it was yeah. like, you know, like the little wish one you can buy sort of thing. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't really know what I was doing. And mm. um, then, yeah, then I found a guy on Instagram called Veli and um, we was in a studio in Morden. That was like a very basic setup. It was almost like a janitor's closet, like turned into a studio. No yeah, sound. Yeah, sometimes studios in the wildest places. Like, yeah, literally, literally. So, um, yeah, I think we recorded System first there. And then after he, he threw me like a couple of beats. Um, and I think I did Margin Boo next. Yeah. And then after Margin Boo, I did I did another tune I got called Lovely Day, which ain't out yet. Okay. So. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so yeah, still yeah, yeah, release yeah. music. Yeah. Oh, there's bare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine, like, so there's bare, yeah, bro. bro. There's so much track. unreleased tunes, bro. Vile. Like, yeah, that was. You know, I've right. been. I was sitting on Vile for like a whole like maybe like year and a half. Swear. Year, year and a half. Yeah, I had right. Vile for a long time. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, and the way that Vile came about was. Uh, so in my first year of like actually going out and performing and doing open mics, I was just trying to get anywhere and everywhere because the yeah, more yeah. I performed, the more I got my sound more, out, yeah, the, the it, better it. I felt. Yeah. So, and I guess that's how I met you guys as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, So I was going to this event in, I think the first one I went to was in Windsor. Mm. And then oh, after wow. that, they were, yeah. So all around. Well, Windsor weren't yeah. too far from me, innit? Because okay. I'm West, so it's, ah, it's yeah, just yeah, past yeah. Slough. The, the one after that was in Stevenage by the yeah. same people. That was by uh, Jason and Emily. They're both DJs. Mm. Um, shout out to them, man. They've done nothing for me. I can't even like explain. Big them up, big up and, um, big up Emily. Yeah, yeah man. Um, and their platform is sick. They just uh, put on artists and let them come and do a showcase, invite your friends, your family, your people. Um, and they basically uh, were going out to Cavos for a season to DJ out there. And they was like, yeah, if anybody artists want to come, we run like a uh, headline shows in like the main place in Cavos. Um, and they've got like big artists basically headlining in a week and open for them Solid, if they yeah. want. So it was like, obviously you just have to like cover your ticket. It shouldn't yeah, be an yeah. issue. I was like, I mean, I mean, it only makes sense, but I had no like summer tunes or anything. Everything yeah. I had was quite um, dark and like angry. And there was nothing that I didn't think I could play in front of like a big crowd yeah. that was for just vibes. Do you know what I mean? So um, I went into the studio with my, with my friend AC 
Um, and I just, I don't know, I was listening to a lot of music that I knew was good for summer. Like a lot of music I knew was good for summer and I found a beat and I didn't really know how I was gonna angle it because I don't really, I didn't really have like vibes. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I wasn't in a headspace for vibes. Mm. So Veli was just like, just talk about what you normally talk about. Talk about your pain, but like celebrate it. Do you get what I'm saying? He was like, okay, cool, it's peak, but like... In a melodic way it's Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah he was just like, celebrate it. Do you know what yeah. People go through shit, but like, mm. at the end of the day, like, we're all here for a reason, so... Mm. Um, that's how Vio came about, yeah, basically. Okay, it okay. was, yeah, it, it was kind of just like, okay, cool, it's peak, but like, oh, I'm still here. I mean, it is still peak, but like, do you know what I mean? Like, I've made it through and I'm pushing through it. I've got to try and be positive with it as much as I can. Definitely. So... That's why that's, it's more, more... May our blessings inspire one. Yeah, that's exactly it, that's that. Why. Literally. Yeah. So I cooked that up in about an hour yeah, yeah. and then I memorized it on the way to a show and then performed it. And then, wow. um, and then yeah, literally, I think I flew out like two, three days later to Cavos. Was then, that this year? No, that was last year. Last that was last year. year. Oh, okay, that was last okay. year, yeah. Um, yeah. And then I basically just tested it out there with the cars to see what it was like. And yeah, people loved it out there. We did like boat nice. parties with the clubs. Yeah, yeah, we did yeah, yeah. The, I see it, man. I've the main thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was, that was lit, lit, like yeah. next level. Um, it was hot though, that's one thing I'll say. Yeah. It was hot, it was hot, but um, it was a very, very good experience and it just let me know that like, yeah, this is what I want to do for the mm. rest of my life. So nice, man. I can when see I you're came... passionate about what you do as well. Oh, I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, this man. thing is violating me, bro. Every time, it don't that's wanna... Violent, right, <laughs>
because obviously people just still seem to think that they can get away yeah, with yeah. it. Yeah, so. maybe it's the staff don't know any better, but mm. yeah, what's all gone? You I would, I would, I would address it because yeah. the longer you let it go on, the worse it's gonna yeah. get. So. and he's gonna end up, it's gonna end up weighing on his chest. Hundred, hundred, so, hundred, hundred, saves. hundred. Yeah, I would, so, I would say address it there and then when it happens. Address it to the to the people that are saying it. Exactly, and then, then if it doesn't, then you have to, I guess, HR it yeah. or. We we'll just cut, man. Just cut, <laughs> yeah. just cut. Is it really worth it? Is, yeah, that's the thing. Is it, worth, is it worth it, like, the stress on your shoulders every day, like, yeah. going through your mind and that, that you're thinking about it? It's, it's long. You don't want to have that to deal it, with yeah. that, man. You shouldn't have to go life. work and deal with that, man. But, you know, it's like workplace banter, isn't it? It's you like, shouldn't have to go leave your job because some people are racist. This mic true. Yeah, is racist. It's true, it's true. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's true. It's th that's a good point. If you leave uh, it, yeah, but it depends on the terms you leave on. If you say I left because of this, 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 this. But if you just no, leave, but you like the job. You're, you're just yeah. Oh, but so if he, he rates the job and he really he likes the job, job no. Nah, but if he, he just leaves, yeah, if he just leaves, they're not gonna understand why he's left. So they're just gonna think I oh, just. But left. it depends. It depends on the terms you leave on. If you mm. send a fat letter like this is the reasons I left. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, nine times out of ten they'll be like, oh, we're sorry you felt like this. Yeah, you they wish didn't you told know. us. But if you tell it's them, just, yeah. it's just it's just peak because I know so many people that are in companies where there's like racism going on or sexism or whatever, mm. and they know that they can't say nothing because otherwise something happened. And if they do say something, it, even though they're they're not in the wrong for doing yeah. it, they're now like frowned upon in that country in what that company. Made... They're not like the first person for choice for anything. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Automatically, it's like oh, this person's not a team player. That's how mm. they look at it, which is dumb. But mm. what about yeah. if he made jokes back at them? Banter for banter. Man said that he banter, makes banter, jokes banter, back. Banter, banter. I don't know. I'm oh just my brainstorming days. here now. I'm brainstorming. I feel here. like that just makes you as worse that, as bad that, as them, that, really. Yeah. yeah, that might make that you worse. That makes you as bad, bad as, as them, them but that is. <laughs> you might banter so hard they don't want to banter no more. Do you know yeah, yeah. That It could, yeah, I feel like. Just have a couple jokes. It just in depends. I would say, yeah, arm yourself with a few cheeky ones, isn't it? A few yeah. cheeky ones, because if you have a couple of cheeky ones, then it will be a stinger. Be like, oh, okay, maybe like I should probably yeah. take it yeah, back yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah. They got the heat too. I didn't know like yeah. that. Do you know what I mean? So, oh, it's this tough, man. It so is tough. Overall, I would say this mic does not rate me. Fam. Oh, is it keep dropping? Down? It is, bro. See, Especially that's, with these new Mac arms dilemma. or whatever they are. That is a gone. dilemma. Uh, that it could be worse. Right, could be worse. But yeah, that's that's a that's a peak one, man. Mm. That's a peak one. All the best with it. Right. Uh, I would say yeah, like. Maybe the most sensible one would be just tell them direct, just talk to them directly. Mm. Yeah, because at the end of the day, if you leave that situation, it's going to build up resentment in your heart. 100. And you're going to end up, you might end up acting out. You might just end up in an outburst one day. Mm. You might all be down the pub and then they make that one joke that just like. Yeah, you, just, you, you flip the, the table, you yeah, dash the glass. Yeah. <laughs> and now everyone's saying you're mad now. Yeah, all of a yeah, sudden. Like, they don't know why. You're the one in the, yeah, so <laughs> in the disciplinary <laughs> meeting. Yeah, now, now it's on you now, you flip, it's flipped on you now. Literally, because it don't matter what they say, it's because you've now done something. That's yeah. how they look at it. That's it, that's cool. it. But yeah, man, nothing nah. you could do. That's, it's it, that's terrible. We've got one more of them. They're <laughs> there's, there's more, there's yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for one more. Yeah. Yeah, right. Sorry to hear that, bro. Uh, that sucks, man. I wish you weren't in that right, situation. I got this person, I think, all right, cool. It's, it's another it's type of job, job it's, one. It's a job-related yeah, one, yeah. yeah? Cool. So it said, yo, I've got this career dilemma. Mm -hmm. Been grinding on this project for a minute mm -hmm. at this software company. And just when it's about to launch, uh -oh. I found a security flaw that could put people's data at risk. Yeah. Yo. If I speak up, the launch gets pushed back and the company's going to take a big hit. <laughs> but if I stay silent, I'm putting people's security on the line. That is wild, <laughs> it's a real bro. I'm sweating over what, what to do. That is mad. Wow. Oh my, okay, bro. Oh, well, it depends on whether or not pay, you, bro. what you it's value more. Your job or your no, people or the humanity? <laughs> if ah, the project doesn't launch, his salary is taking mad. a cut. <laughs> that's so crazy. Well, if it launches and it backfires, he could get sued. Well, yeah. nah, he could just say he didn't know, innit? Yeah, but the company could still get sued. It's true. It depends on what paperwork, bro. Security. I would base it on what paperwork you've signed, innit? If you've signed yeah. a mad thing that can put it on you, then, bro, just tell them, innit? There's the yeah, better option yeah, and you yeah, might yeah. have to take the cut. And yeah. if you ain't signed anything, Oh, this project's going to be it, put back a year. What, I want to know what kind of 
issues can happen if the data is compromised because we don't know what kind of data it is if it's just email addresses or if it's mm. bank details or do you know what I mean so yeah, yeah, yeah. if it's really really sensitive information then you probably need to to speak yeah, up yeah, yeah, yeah. but I think if it's a couple of emails bro like so called account number you can't really like, do much with that other than yeah, like set up a little time. little direct debit a whole year a whole year you're sat a, what if a, you yeah a, a whole year is long but a whole what year is worse but it's what better than salary, a life sentence what if his salary is going down to 10 from 10 bags. 10, 10 he might be earning 100k a year working tech, you know, IT. Ten back salary. Down to 10 bags. Now he's down to 10, 10 grand that a year. <laughs> now, he's, now he's lost his job. Maybe nah. Now he's 10 bags is nuts. But I know, he could probably find something else, though, to be fair. if I think you could find something. He needs to yeah. tell them. He needs to tell them. I think just say, have integrity, you tell them, man. Unless he thinks he can fix it himself. Yeah. Like, he thinks he's got some opportunity to try and do something. Tell someone that you know can deal with it. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. won't bother you about it as yeah, well. Because yeah. otherwise they'll make you do the work. Yeah, and then, yeah, if, it, yeah, and then yeah, if it gonna, does go wrong, yeah. it is on you, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, yeah, man, man, that's let, mad. Let them know. Let, tell, you, tell, you, tell, you, tell your manager. Mm. Just tell him. Just tell him. Yeah, man, that's been Creative Insight Podcast. Thank you for sending in your dilemmas. Any more dilemmas, mm. make sure you send them in. Send them in to us. We'll discuss them here on the podcast. 100. You can be you, you total anonymity. Yeah, we're just giving people advice, doing what we can do. Right? So big up Moby. Love for having me, yeah. bro. Turn. Our blessings inspire yeah, one. Big up again. I got yeah, B for your mic though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's mic right, is when, off, that, when, bro. That, when that budget hits for 2024, when that Creative Insight podcast budget lands, man, we invest. We invest it. I uh, appreciate. Big that, ups, man. No, it's, it's nice though, bro. It's a, yeah. it's a good clean space. Like yeah, 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 the quality yeah. of the audio sounds yeah. good. So. Definitely, man. Love, love, for having, love for being on the show again. Uh, love for having me, bro. It's and been an absolute any, yeah. blessing. And yeah, I hope you lot enjoy the whiskey, innit? Yes. <laughs> should be a vibe oh. way. Nah, you should enjoy it, bro. It should be definite, sick. Definitely, man. Definitely, definitely. Oh, Big up. Try and to fix this for the out. next person. I'll leave. All right, love. Yeah, love right, for having me, man. Stay blessed. Bless.